Now I will show you how to use big copper planes to let's say extend the ground net to a larger area, which we actually quite often do at the end when we already almost finished with the PCB. So that's our PCB and now I will add the copper area. I will choose the top layer because I want to put it on top layer as the rest of the tracks are. I will choose the place polygon poor and I will make a polygon here of the size of the PCB with four corners, right hand button I finish and again oh, here is the copper area. Now what can we do with it? Well first of all we see that it's not connected to ground so I would like to connect it to ground. I will actually do that by using ground pin, pad or ground name of the net and then I will the, co the copper plane disappears so what I can do I can click on the copper plane use the polygon polygon actions and I will select report selected this can be also done by using a shortcut TGA and TGA is very useful I use it of all the time okay now as you see now the polygon is connected to this ground pin and maybe to that one but not to the rest of them not to the tracks why not well because you have to select a property called pour over all same net objects if I select that one and use the TGA function again it will be now connected to every object that is on the ground so now I will select one line on the ground and just select it by tab and delete it because I don't need it anymore okay what else well as you see there are some other properties to set for example remove islands I can increase this minimum area of islands to let's say 50 square millimeters TGA and um, nothing happened why not because there are no islands actually here maybe I can make an island I can make an island by just dragging this line up here and maybe dragging that one here or there or even like that and pressing TGA now will actually make an island let me do it again because I didn't do it quite well TGA okay that's an island and now it was removed that island wasn't connected to ground so it removed everything that's smaller than 15 square millimeters okay let's go back this was just a test now continuing arc approximation I can use let's say arc increase that arc approximation TGA again and you see now this arc is approximated with larger lines okay and finally oh why would you do that because sometimes milling drilling machines can make it easier with less less effort okay uh, I will now put it back to original value and the remove next is also a function which might be useful if you have very small features maybe you don't want them because they could be potentially a problem with reliability so I can increase this value to one millimeter and see what happens some of the features now which are small are now removed okay good okay going back to the original settings what else well the only thing that is still left is the this edge here I don't want copper to be till the edge I want it to be till uh, limited by this keep out square so actually I will go here and select remove that copper which means that every copper that is not able to be connected to ground will be removed TGA now it's removed okay what else well almost nothing maybe one thing more you see in this terminal reliefs here every soldering pad needs a terminal relief in order to be able to be uh, soldered without problems because the terminal relief will not dissipate heat so efficiently so it could be uh, beneficial with soldering now in this terminal reliefs can be set in design rules in design rules you can go to rules under plane you will find polygon connect style and this polygon connect style we can use has these options we can have terminal reliefs or direct connect or no connect 
I will go to relief connect and I will I can choose two or four reliefs. Well, in advanced, you can choose that separately for through hole pads, for SMT pads and for wires. Among those, only wires are the ones which do not need soldering or are not intended for soldering. Therefore, I can easily use wires with direct connection to the gro ground pads and which is quite, that's quite advisable. So this would be a default settings for most of your PCB you will be making. So through hole pads, SMT pads are connected with thermal reliefs because of soldering and wires are connected directly. Okay. Okay, TGA. Here nothing changed because we, ha we have no wires. So that's it regarding the copper plane.